Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey in here with the Pokemon Spotlight. This time we're going to be featuring Mega Manetric. Now, Mega Manetric is easily one of the best teammates on uh, Volt Turn teams. Has high speed and high special attack. Uh, is a great revenge killer as well as... Um, is only electric, so it only has one weakness in ground. Uh, pretty much has the moveset that it needs to actually do work, which is... Um, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Slash Overheat, or Hidden Power Ice. That's pretty much the only set that you'll see on Manetric. It's really one-dimensional, but it's really good at what it does just because of its high speed and special attack stat. Intimidate actually lets it check physical attackers, shrugging off hits from Pokemon like Scizor or an unboosted Breloom, uh, things like that. Uh, so Intimidate really helps in that case. And honestly, its biggest weakness is its uh, pretty frail um, defensive stats. I mean, 80 is average at best. Um, and its inability to really hit Pokemon hard like uh, Latias and Hydreigon. Obviously, Hidden Power Ice is really nice uh, for the most part, but that's better for like four times effective Mons, and otherwise, like it's doing like 40 something percent to Latias uh, at best. And, um, and if it's running Hidden Power Ice, it's walled by the likes of Swampert and Seismitoad. So, uh, but it's just really, really, really good at what it does, can for the most part beat uh, ground types if it's running the right coverage or even we just put a little bit of chip and just a great revenge killer so let's go ahead and look for some games i have uh, only four teams today and um again all the sets are exactly the same like the only thing you really deviate on mega metric is flamethrower over overheat overheat picking up the ko and cobalion uh whereas flamethrower just a solid to a ko easy solid to a ko at that and um if that just doesn't really do too much else and maybe hidden power uh, if you want but uh he has a Swampert, unfortunately, which I did not want to see as a lead. Otherwise, I put in a lot of work. My uh, Hydreigon puts in a ton of work versus him. I'm actually going to lead Braylon because if he leads off with the Crobat or uh, Rotom, um, I do have a few switches I can make. I think that Hydreigon is honestly just the best switch. Uh, I don't mind it getting uh, burnt. He doesn't have a, a Draco switch in any way uh, outside of Scizor, which doesn't take it too well regardless. And he just goes for in front of Overdrive right here. So um, smart because that does a ton to my Hydreigon right there. Uh, he could have Hidden Power Ice. Let's we'll drop a Draco on him and weaken him for uh, Breloom. Um, Breloom can put in a ton of work versus him. Honestly, my Nitric only checks Breloom, Scizor, and uh, Crobat, which is pretty good. Outside of that, Rotom Heat is a, a really solid uh, type for this game. So, we do see a crit come off on uh, Muck. Uh, I'm assuming he's just gonna go for knockoff, so I'll just get in Scizor here because I don't mind if Scizor gets knocked off. Actually, ends up going for Pursuit which means that I can bring in my uh, scissor anyway. Um, smart for him to go for Pursuit right there, but we can go right for what is essentially, it's not a banded U-turn, but we can go for a U-turn right here. And if he brings in Rotom, I can get in my Gliscor just to get my Toxic Orb activated. Um, I'm also really spadef, so I will be able to live in HP Ice. I don't know if Rotom is his defogger at that, but go Scizor. This allows me to get in my Gliscor. So that means he can't spore me for free. Um, and I'm not as worried about this thing just because of the fact that I have uh, well, one, my Azu can sweep him very, very easily. He just needs damage on Brandlum. Uh Two, we'll see if he has that uh, HP ice. But he still off an overheat. At minus two, because I am Spadef, he won't actually be able to knock me out with HP ice anyway. So if he wants to go for Defog, that's fine. And I wanted those rocks up because, yeah, like I said, that's Hidden Power. Oh, that's Hidden Power Grass. <laughs> that did two. So he actually cannot beat me 1v1 and... I'll just repeatedly be able to go for knockoffs right there. I don't mind him letting me weaken this, especially because that's one of his Mega Manetric answers. Um, surprised he's just not going Crobat. Oh, he actually has Pain Split. Okay, so that makes sense. But he's still not doing any damage to me anyway. And knockoff has way too much HP for him to actually do anything. And I'm assuming his last move is just Volt Switch. So um, if you want to repeatedly go for that, that's fine. We get an Hydreigon now too. I can also drop a Draco, I think, because Muck is, will be to a KO to the range of that. And if he goes for Pain Split, a oh, nice Volt Switch on my opponent's part for sure. Uh, but Muck is still in the range that I needed to. And if Braylon comes out, Scissor isn't too big of a deal either. I can just get in Gliscor now. If it's Defog, Scissor doesn't run SD. Throw off a knockoff right here. As he does, go for the Swords Dance. Uh, and we'll just be able to Earthquake. Even if he gets the plus six, my Manetric can check him no matter what. So that's why I'm not as worried. As he just goes for U-turn. So now the Scizor is in range of two mock Punches or Bullet Seed into mock Punch. Um, Rotom comes out. And at that point, I'm just going to go Hydreigon. I don't even care if he goes for Overheat. As he just goes for Volt Switch. But now Rotom is in range of Mega Manetric as well as uh, an attack from my um, 
from my Breloom, which I can just safely go into right now. And we will just throw off a Bullet Seed. I'm not going to bother predicting the Crobat. Uh, it could have safety goggles. Definitely could have safety goggles. I'm going to attempt the Spore and see if he does actually have the safety goggles. Obviously, he's not Z. He should have safety goggles, actually. Yeah, he does have it, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll get a Manetric right now just to be able to Mega Evolve and get on my rocks. If he goes hard for U-Turn, that's a good play, too. By Mega Evolving, I basically ensure that... Um, I'm actually going to hard Thunderbolt. Like, I don't care if he goes Swampert. It uh, goes Muck, so I think Muck will actually be 2 a KO by this Thunderbolt, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Muck will be 2 a KO. This does allow him to get in Swampert if he wants to. Uh, we're actually going to... He can Pursue, too. Good play. Um, but we're actually just going to get in Gliscor now and just get up our rocks. Like, he, he doesn't do anything to deny that. And my Belly Drum, I just need damage on Braylon. I'm pretty sure he knows that. But Belly Drum Ozzy just puts in so much work on him. Or versus him, rather. Like, you don't do any damage to me. So I don't care about his overheats. I don't care about any of the hidden powers. Uh, it's a long, drawn-out game, unfortunately, as the first one. But I really just need about 30%, man. 30% off on Braylon. So this gives me a Manetric. Actually, I'm just going to click Flamethrower. I don't even care. Just, I can burn Swamper too at that. And if he goes Rotom, I actually don't know how well you take this. Wow, he did not take that that well at all. I actually think Thunderbolt knocks him out. Yeah, so we get rid of Rotom. Great. Uh, so Manetric, I'm making it harder for my opponent for sure. Muck guarantee goes down to Thunderbolt. I actually would have went down last turn, so I'm really surprised he went for Pursuit. But I'm assuming he just expected me to predict Swamper right there. And we'll go route to Braylon right here. As he gets up his rocks, this should allow Crobat to come in. I'm actually going to Bullet Seed. I don't care if Crobat comes in. Because it's forced to roost, if anything. And my own Scizor, the fact that his uh, the fact that his Scizor doesn't have recovery anymore, really helps me out because my own uh, Scizor can Bullet Punch through him and U-Turn around. I'm really worried about his uh, Swapper, but at the same time, you know, plus six, Azu doesn't care. And I go for my Belly Drum versus Scizor, if anything, or Crobat. So... Just be able to bullet punch right here. He wants to roost, he can roost. Probably I could just roost myself. Yeah, I'll roost myself. And uh, I'm actually going to U-turn because I don't think his uh, Brave Bird does too much. And if he wants to go Scizor, I'm chipping away at that thing. Allowing my Braylon to come in and potentially just spore him. If he wants to go for Bullet Punch, that's fine. I'm just trying to chip away at Scizor to the point where it can't come in on Gliscor anymore. Because I know that's physically defensive, Scizor. Um, like, fully physically defensive. So I'm going to attempt to spore him right there. Or right here. Like, regardless of this play that he keeps making. I swear, Belly Dramazu can win. The alternative play is use Belly Dramazu to try and weaken Breloom and break through with Gliscor, which he doesn't deal with that well at all either. Alright, well he decides to defog for me, so <laughs> nice. Um, I can either get on my rocks again as he goes for U-turn here, depending on what he goes out into. I can get on my rocks with my uh, Gliscor. I do apologize that this game is a little bit longer, um, but that also makes my Mega Manetra come in a little bit easier. As he goes Scizor right there. Gives me Manetric and gives me a potential Flamethrower burn as well. On if, if he goes Swampert. As he goes Muck, and I actually do get the burn on Muck. So I really wish he went Swampert that turn. That would have been nice. Um, but Swampert comes out. I'll get in Gliscor, which does not care about what Swampert can do. And I can go for Knock Off. Actually going to go for Knock Off first. Just because uh, weakening them makes Manetric's job a lot easier. And Scald does not do crap to me. So, uh, basically getting rid of Swampert's leftovers means that it doesn't repeatedly come in on my Manetric, and now my Manetric is kind of freed up. Get up our rocks right here as he goes for SD. We'll go hard Manetric, even if he opts to go for a uh, U-turn right here, which would be a smart play. Uh, but if he opts to go for the SD, then I click Flamethrower, and once again, like I said, like Swampert doesn't come in. So this is how you play Manetric. Yep. And uh, again, all this damage on uh, Swampert with the knockoff is going to really, really, really be racking up. 
Plus it allows me Braylon as a switch in, which forces in Crobat. And I'll always go for Bullet Seed here. I don't have to predict Braylon at all. Uh, Crobat at all. I don't. Because every single time Crobat comes in, that gives me Monetric and that gives me a Flamethrower. So it's the exact same thing. Even if he opts to stay in right here. Like, what does he do? He defogs and doesn't come in later? Or he just goes for U-turn and, you know, forces himself in a range of my other attacks? Like, it's the exact same thing. So, I'll get Umbrellum again. As he gets up rocks. Once again, just go for Bullet Seed. If you want to go for Crobat, like, you're risking me getting potentially a huge amount of hits. And at the same time, you're also risking um, Mach Punch KO on you. So if I get like one more hit, for example, yeah, Mach Punch guarantee KOs. And I got five hits. So, like, he could do every single play he wanted. And now Braylon puts in work versus him. And if he goes Scissor, I get a Spore. If he goes Swampert, it has no recovery. I get the Mach Punch off that I want on Braylon. Also, two Mach Punches to be able to 2 KO Braylon. Plus, my Scissor is out of range. What's up, man? Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm playing it in a way that Monetric can pressure even Swampert. I hope you guys are seeing that. Like, um, it was able to beat so far Muck and Rotom, which it should not be able to beat, and it pressured the hell out of Swampert. So he has to go Braylon here. How much, how fast is my glide score? It's not faster. Mm. I'm pretty sure Mach Punch into Bullet Punch into Aqua Jet will knock out Braylon regardless. So I'll always Mach Punch here. Um, Cause I'm, I'm trying to put that boy in range of my attacks from Azu and whatnot. Always Mach Punch here. I just wanna make sure I don't lose to, and that's the damage I need for plus six Azu. I think he's adamant too. Yeah, that, that was some ridiculous roll right there, but. Yep, so we end up getting rid of the Braylon right there. He goes Scizor. I get to go right out to Manetric. On the bullet punch. And I go Braylon on the Swampert. I click Spore and then I click SD. Manetric's still alive too to eat a random hit. So I mean, I guess if he gets a two turn wait, this could be bad, but um, by me going for SD right here, uh, it should put Scissor in range of Aqua Jet from Azu, which I guarantee live as well. Let's see if he gets the hit awake. He does get the wake immediately. But he goes for rocks. Misclick? That had to be a misclick, right? You don't make that play. That, okay, actually the best play is to go for Spore here too. That sucks, man. I really, that suck. I really does. I don't think I would have lost from there, but the, re the reason why Spore is the best play is because if he goes Scizor and I get like low rolls or whatnot. Um, at this point it doesn't matter because I guarantee to KO Scizor with plus two Mach Punch, like that's for sure. So Scizor is pretty much forced to attack me. And I can just uh, Bullet Seed right there, Mach Punch Scizor. If it SDs up, it won't live any two hits. I mock punch scissor for the two at KO, guaranteed. Yep, 51. He bullet punches me. I go Manetric. Uh, and even if he does manage to knock me out there, I go Glide Score and knock. Uh, how much did I do before? Glide Score's Earthquake did how little? 29, thank you. We know that's max defense, and Glide Score gets to pick up the KO with the Earthquake, and that'll be a good game. That was a really, really, really long uh, game one. That was a super long game one, man. Woo. All right, next up, we have a team by 416 Anthony, and what do you guys know? It's the same Manetric now. I mean, it's Manetric is really good. Uh, we have Defensive Scizor again. Um, this time, we have Amoongus, Swampert, uh, Dual Dance, Cobalion, and then Choice Scarf, Crocodile, as opposed to Choice Scarf, Hydreigon. So... We're actually pretty ground weak ourselves. Of course he has bear. Ah, uh, I, I don't want to fight a bear. Have fun, dude. I don't want to fight a bear. Ah. 
All right, Pert, I choose you. Pert's so pressured in this too. Okay, if I'm gonna win this game, it's gonna be with Cobalion, I think. Close combat, close combat, Stelium uh, leads arrow, which means that I get to get up my rocks immediately. As he goes, Hydreigon. Go for a Toxic right there. All right, so that's really nice for Manetra because that guarantees I'll 2 it KO it. Um, Amoongus can take a hit. I don't. I doubt that Scarf too. I feel like that's Dragonium. Oh, this 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 works really well. I'm going to Giga Drain, you know. And now I'll just HP Fire because I don't see item. What the hell is that item? Oh, are you Z? That boy Z. I mean, uh, that's good because that's good for plus six Ozzy and whatnot. But I am definitely out damaging him, bro. I'm a spore right now as he goes Aerodactyl. Awesome. Gives me Swamper. Um, and Amoongus can pretty much pivot on everything. And he goes hard Amoongus. Smart play. Smart play for sure. I really want to get up my rocks though. But he has a Defogger, so there's no point. Nice double, my friend. But I'm still... I have speed, which is funny. And at the same time, like, Aerodactyl has not burned turn, so... I actually can 1v1 him because I have speed and I get black sludge recovery. And the funny thing is if he goes like Beware, because of Fluffy, a hidden power of fire probably does about 30%, which is good damage. That's really good damage in my opinion. I go I Dragon now. As he goes arrow. I mean it's the exact same thing. I, I get my regen anyway, so. Get on my rocks now with Swamper. As he goes for that, he can all out pummeling me if he wants to or close combat. Uh, either way, he won't appreciate this. And even if he's shook, though, that's fine too. Get on my rocks, excuse me, for Arrow and whatnot in his team. I, mean, I could always go on Mungus right here too. I'm sure he's thinking about that. But I'd rather pop a Shooko or potential Shooko with Earthquake. Plus, Earthquake to a KOs. Ooh, that's some damage. Hold up. Do I live this hit? Do I live plus two all up humbling? I feel like I do. I feel like, because I'm Swampert. How much HP you got? 240, 252. Cobalion or Zmolt would say Cobalion. 93 to 109. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a roll. Plus, I don't want him. Ah! <laughs> no! Why? Why? It's okay. It happens. Uh, um, I don't even think Among Us lives Stelium, but that sucks, dude. Yeah, that was that. Like, I would have been able to knock him out without losing any Pokemon. And I had to. I had to. I couldn't go Manetric next because if he was all out pummeling, it'd be a problem. That sucks, man. Good game. I honestly think that I was on track for just straight up winning this game, like, and easily too. Because Aerodactyl had, uh, only burnt one turn, Hydreigon was toxic, his Amoongus always lost to mine, and my own Cobalion just put in so much work versus him too. Oh well, but that's, you know, that's Pokemon. <laughs> Man. And we got, you guys saw the roll, by the way, that's all out pummeling. So this is non-Z, the most close combat could do was 69%, which I I even got on recovery. Like, I still got enough leftovers back, and I still had enough HP to still check Aerodactyl. That sucks, though. Oh, well. Such is life. Reminds me of the Magneton game. Just all of them. All right, uh, another Swamper. I'm not HP Grass. That Life Orb is really nice. Early Glide Score. Need Swampert. I'm going to attempt a Toxic while not getting Scalpert. This is my play. Don't Scalpert me. Get up your rocks. Perfect. So we get a Toxic. We get that boy on a timer. Uh, Roser comes out. He has to have Technician HP Ice, um, which I think that Metagross will take anyway. I don't have Default on this. I do. Cool. I don't mind him giving me damage on that Mon, especially because I can always go Glide Score and. Uh, one well, of my superiors is going to be able to defog, like, freely versus him. Two is Scald isn't going to be doing too much. Oh, Joy. 
Um, I'm gonna go Metagross because I expect him to go Toekus here. Plus, if he lets um, Swampert goes down, I actually get to Voltus versus him. So even if he predicts that, that's really nice. Yeah, so go right for the uh, Meteor Mash right here. As he gets an aggro, which doesn't take it that well. We'll just Earthquake for a little bit of chip. Um, plus six, Azu can also do a lot of work versus him too. That boy cursed up. Right, we're gonna go Hydreigon because I'm assuming this is Rest Talk. Yep. You don't curse unless you're Rest. Ooh, that's some big damage. Hey, don't get Heavy Slam. Thanks. As long as he didn't get Heavy Slam there, I was fine. You know what? Don't get Heavy Slam again. That way I can... Let me just flinch him in his sleep. Nice. So, Aggron is gone. And he put Manetric in, uh, in front of in range of the... Uh, of the close combat. Uh, what? In front of in range of Volt Switch. Goes for U-turn. Aggron is not going to wake up on literally any of my mons. This mon is a problem, though. But I kind of doubt he'll drop a Draco. So I'll go Hydreigon and see if he uh, Dark Pulses, yeah. Because I'd rather risk the speed time and just go for Super Power. Hey, I don't mind I don't mind missing out on it as long as... Like, right now, plus six Azu wins. And Manetric wins, too. So I'm going to go Superior because I, yep, I expect Inferno to want to come out. Well, Defog, since Scarf Inferno should go for Flare Blitz or U-Turn. This kind of sucks, though, because it does give Aggron the uh, leeway to actually wake up. I thought he would just Flare Blitz, but he ends up going Swampert for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why he went Swampert first, um, but I will be able to get on my rocks and uh, still pressure Inferno. And Rose Raid is not going to appreciate these Earthquakes at all. I'm assuming it's Scarf Toekus. I'm not even sure. I mean, you're still not taking these that well. Uh, period. We'll just sack Superior here. Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet. You can Roost. That doesn't matter. Metagross comes out. I just Ice Punch. Because it hits Swamper a little bit harder. It uh, goes Aggron, so that's going to be sacked. Nice. Swampert comes out, not an issue, because my Gliscor eats Scalds for days. Not for days, actually. It's actually not for days, uh, because of his particular set, but... Um, it's still my best interest, because basically, Manetric is going to be the Mon that cleans up in the late game. Like, Manetric is going to be the Mon that cleans up in the late game, no matter what. I'm assuming it's Scarf, Flare Blitz, Infernape, but... I always go Metagross, which always threatens something with Ice Punch here. Nice double out to Swampert. I can respect that. I mean, it's the same as that thing. You're just letting it take chip. I'm assuming he's trying to put it in Torrent range. Which he will be at the end of this turn. Um, but, like, you're forced to Roost here. So that's why I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because if you don't Roost with Togekiss, you don't live a hit. Plus my Glide score at full HP. What's up, man? Glide score at full HP can beat him. Nice heal bow. Okay, so we'll just Meteor Mash. And Meteor Mash and Earthquake, I think, knocks this thing out. Yep. For sure, Meteor Mash and Earthquake knocks this out. That did 18. There's no way this Earthquake does not knock him out. So we get rid of Swamper, which means I can actually Volt Switch. Uh, assuming he goes Infernape, it should Flare Blitz right here. I would Flare Blitz. And that gives me a Z-Belly Drum, um, which either knocks out Azu or, or knocks out Rose Raid or puts it in range of the, uh, the metric. So you Flare Blitz here. I Earthquake you. Does it... Yeah, you know what? My metric KOs you. I'm just going to decide that my metric KOs you with Flamethrower. And my, like, what I had to do the entire game, assuming this does KO him, um, which it should. Yep. Uh, what I had to do the entire game, because we've been fighting a lot of Swamperts, is... Thank you, friend. Good game. Um, I had to pressure the Swampert the entire time, because... And by me toxic in turn one, and him not going for heal bar earlier, what I think he should have done with Togekiss, as opposed to... Because the way he did it, he brought it in and always roosted. And I understand that play, because you want Togekiss healthy to take on, you know, potentially Superior. Right? Which I also think he should have went Aggron when I went for Defog, because it would have given him a free rest. Um, I don't think he... Uh, 
But I understand him wanting to get rid of Superior as well. But I feel like you would have gotten enough rocks easily versus my team. So uh, Metagross always pressured everything though. And the way I would have been in Aggron would have been with Mega Manetric or a plus six Azu, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there was a few things there that could have been different. So Tagami's last team. We have um, a team I can't break through. Yep. Nope, sorry, dude. I cannot break through your team. So we're going to uh, skip this game. Um, again, if I had a glide score, like an SD glide score, I could at least stall for a while, but and, and eventually win. Let me see, I can absorb T spikes with this. Clear smog. If this is life orb, maybe. I mean, like his team. Is... But it just doesn't do. You have to do crap in this game, though. Can I beat his team? All right, whatever. Let's try. We'll try for a bit. We'll try for just a little bit. Um. I, I kind of doubt I will. Yeah, I kind of. I don't think I could be his team. All right, so I get up a rocks at least. Uh, this does give me muck. Go for a knockoff here. Even if he goes glide score, like if he heal bells, basically later, which he might end up doing. Uh, Manetri literally does nothing in this game outside outside of outspeeding Espeon and you know avoiding a T wave from. That mod. Get in Starmie. Get over Psy Shock because it's analytic boosted. You should always go Blissey or Dragalga. You should never risk Quagsire, especially because I have a Manetric. Klefki makes sense too. Yeah, I can't I can't see myself breaking through his team, guys. Like I I really can't. I mean, I get the analytic hit off here, which is nice, but... Oh, which actually KOs Klefki. Uh, I still can't, because Blissey... Like, this is my Blissey answer. <laughs> this is my Blissey answer. It's a Starmie. And Muck. Which just got burnt. Yeah, we got a young Pert here. Uh, I mean, I killed a Pokemon. That's cool. But Espeon comes out. Muck can easily revenge kill you. I want to go for rocks here, but because I feel like you can easily go Blissey and get up your own rocks. This goes for Calm Mind with Dark Pulse. Should be Dazzling Gleam, but I mean, Flinch Cans plus putting in range of Hydro Pump. I still don't see us winning this game because I don't think he's going to allow me to catch his Blissey with an analytic boosted Psy Shock. Which is like my only way of actually beating him. So I know that I know that I know Hydro Pump knocks him out. He should know Hydro Pump knocks him out. Alright, I'm going to make a Hail Mary player here, right? I'm clicking X anyway after this, but if I get this Psy Shock play right and he does go... This guaranteed dies to Hydro Pump. If I get this Psy Shock play right and he goes Blissey, we might have a chance. Never mind, I did 51. Yep. I cannot break through Blissey with that team. If I had, like I said, if I had a Glide score or any type of physical attacker, that, and that's not that's not my fault. That's not my opponent's fault. It's just the team it can't break through Blissey. Um, and the fact that my muck got burnt, I really thought analytic side shock would maybe do like 60, but no. No, nothing. Uh, I should just click X there, but you know what? I asserted dominance and I got out of there, and I had more Pokemon at the end of the Actually, no, we're 5-5. Five, five. I hate, I hate. This is like the combination of stuff you don't want to see. Uh, a name in all lowercase letters, this child toddler ninja, and a coma o, and a, a Moltres. Because you know what this means? This means my opponent knows what they're doing, like to the highest degree. Pokemon you showcasing today. Manetric, let me sweep you. I actually don't need HP on this mod. So even if you scarf my go, whatever. Uh, how do I not lose to Como after getting in Muck? He can get a Petit Spike all he wants. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I don't lose to Como. I have double poison <laughs> and a rapid spinner. 
So we're gonna go um, Among Us here just to absorb that and then we're gonna get in Swamper. Among Us will be able to live an Aerial Ace into a Pursuit anyway, uh, if he wants to go for that. Like I said, I'll live an Ice Fang as well, and I'll live that in Pursuit as well. So it doubles out into Nihiligo, which is going to give me a potential Spore with my Among Us. You could have Grass Knot. Yep. Okay. That's cool. I get in Muck anyway, and I do the exact same thing. That's really cool, though. Should I pursue here? Yeah, why not? I literally need Muck for this Pokemon anyway. So I might as well try and get off some damage. Put him in range of rocks or whatnot. Uh, Metagross comes out, which gives me Swampert again, just to get on my rocks one more time. As he gets up his. It's the exact same thing. I get up these young rocks. Unless this is Grass Knot too. Um, I get up rocks, and I at least pressure... One, Nihiligo dies. He could be Dragonium, which I think I live. Like, I really think I'll live a Dragonium. So I'd rather Earthquake him and try and weaken him. And he can go for his Dragonium. Oh, it's Leftovers. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I beat that 1v1. But he is weakening me for the... Uh... He's weakening me, but he's also making himself really weak to me clicking Draco Meteor. I'll live one. Don't freeze. Thanks. So we get rid of his boost. Dies recovery. And he does not die to poison this turn. Don't see a reason to keep Muck alive anymore. As Nihiligo dies. Alright, so we get rid of Como. Um, Nihiligo is gone. Mega Manetra gets to come in and just click buttons now. Aerodactyl comes out. Just gonna click knock off here. He can knock me out with Earthquake. get to go out into Hydreigon and click Dark Pulse. Uh, so we get rid of Aerodactyl, great. And now my Starmie should, in theory, outspeed his entire team outside of, uh, you know, Scarf Hydreigon, which is definitely uh, very possible. I'll get in Swamper now on his potential. Uh, he should go for Dark Pulse, to be honest. I'll get in Amoongus first. It, go it could be Z, though. This could be a Z. Ends up going for U-Turn, which gives him potentially Agility Moltres. Now, because this could be Agility, I'm going to go for Spore. I don't mind him going right for his Super Sonic Sky Strike, especially because I get to go right out into Manetric and just click Thunderbolt now. So it's going to come down to, I think, Scarf... Uh, I think it's going to come down to Scarf Nihiligo Speed Ties. Scarf um, Hydreigon Speed Ties, excuse me. Sack this. This is checked by Dark Pulse. And Dark Pulse me. I get to go out into Hydreigon and click U-Turn here. As he goes Moltres, I knock that bad boy out. He sacks Starmie. Dark Pulses. You turn on the Metagross, get a Manetric. Flamethrower to weaken him for Dark Pulse. Flamethrower to weaken him for Dark Pulse. I could HP Ice and try and Dark Pulse through him too. Ah, Flamethrower to weaken him for Dark Pulse. So at the end of the day, if Hydreigon ends up going for Draco now anyway, it's going to take the Flamethrower plus the Rocks, and it's going to come down to it. I think it'll come down to Dark Pulse Wars anyway. Yep. So he Dracos. Actually, minus two Draco might be able to knock me out. So I'm going to need to outspeed him here and get the flinch right now. I don't know how, how could I have played that differently? What could I have sacked versus Arrow? Maybe Starmie? Question mark? I mean, HP Icing right there would have been the only different thing I could do. I think he still wins because I'm pretty sure Metagross will eat a Dark Pulse. But there's still the chance I can outspeed him, he can flinch, he can miss. He can choke and go hard Metagross, that way it comes down to actual speed tie between Dark Pulse. Because it definitely knocks out Hydreigon after South Rock. Yep, good game, dude. Alright, um... I mean, that one came down to that turn. I, I don't know how to keep my team with no Dragon Resist less weak to 
a dragon type like that. I'm going to try one more game with uh, Anthony's team because I feel like that game was kind of cheated from me. Not cheated, but, you know, I got a crit from Rob. Uh, he actually apologized to me on Discord. I just noticed that. Specs naked as I was looking at uh, his old team that he passed me, but yeah, I was thinking about even if I HP ice. I guess I, I guess I had to HP ice there, maybe. I, I mean, based on what he made. If I volt switch, it wouldn't do anything anyway. I would still have to win a speed tie. Or the other option was expecting a Dark Pulse as opposed to Draco Wing. What I thought was free versus me anyway, but expecting a Dark Pulse when I had Manetric out versus that and HP Ice. Alright, so this guy is... A scary team. That's a really scary team, man. I thought I'd just lose. Well, he doesn't have Swampert, so I can actually Volt Switch around, versus which is nice versus him. Um... I'm assuming he's just going to lead Gliscor. I lead Gliscor versus me. Or Crobat. He leads Serp. I at least have Among Us as a pivot. A Bandit Azu is also a great lead. We're just going to Scald immediately. Um, Taunt is an option, but also U turning. Trying to catch U turn into Superior. Plus, getting a burn on that is incredible for me. Like, this is, this is him playing with fire right now. And any damage on any of the Mons that he can't take. Among Us, he should expect my Among Us. Yo, this is actually a really bad play because I need this Mon. But I would double out into Gliscor if I was my opponent, and I want to try and catch the Gliscor with a burn. <sighs> Fine. You know what? Fine. Fine. I won't make... I already made this play. Crobat doesn't really matter. I'm going to Spore. Even though he's either Super Sonic Sky Strike or trying to get in Gliscor now. That's that's okay if he does that play, because I, uh, I oh great he's not even super sonic Scratcher. that's awesome. So what offensive? I think offensively, the play I can make right here is yes, uh, Manetric to ensure that uh, to ensure that he doesn't get in Glide Score for free that turn. Um, I guess he could try and go Glide Score right now. I, I'd go Muck if I was my opponent. And once I get up Rocks, Crobat's pretty much gone. Yep. I go Muck. So this should give me rocks. He could go for knockoff though. So I'm gonna get him Muck, and I'm actually gonna double out into my Cobalion on the knockoff because I wanna boost the boost. I wanna boost right now. Go ahead and go for knockoff and give him that justified boost. This works too, I suppose. Not really. close combat I'm surprised he went hard uh, superior close combat for damage come on don't I need on this team my moon is so low <laughs> I'm gonna close combat this thing for damage um, I don't lose to Manetric because I have double ground so that's like Anamungus which pivots in always I guess this Mon is a problem, though. Oh, it goes hard, Gliscor. So this gives me a Mungus only on a pivot. I'm only going a Mungus because I need the Regenerator so I can actually come in on Superior a little bit better. Uh, I expect Rocks, if anything. Yeah, I expect Rocks, if anything, here. Oh, he does have the U-turn, unfortunately. Um, Man, what would you have U-turned out into? Muck? I guess Muck. Alright, but the thing is, my Among Us now is out of range of Leaf Storm into plus 2 HP Fire into neutral HP Fire. So, that's why I made that play. I'm definitely out of range. You, sir, are not doing crap to me, and I want my rocks up because I'm tired of you switching. I'm tired of these switches. Crowback comes out, smart man. Give me Swampert and give me my rocks, bro. I want my rocks. Alright, so he burns one turn. I'm gonna get him rocks. Assuming he doesn't wake... Don't wake up here, bro. I want my rocks. Nice. Alright, so now he should wake up, or potentially wake up and go for Roost. 
I'm gonna set him up with an earthquake. What earthquake basically ensures is he can't roost on me, but I guess because he's sees me going for that, maybe he will actually go for the Brave Bird as opposed to that. Um, so I'll actually throw off a Scald here instead. Like, he saw me go for Earthquake. I mean, he's playing with, again, he's still playing with fire. He's playing with Scalds. Like, literal boiling water, which is, you know, not, I don't know, what do you consider <laughs> lava? Okay, Molten Rock, whatever. Okay, never mind, not fire, whatever. Not water. Anyway, we get rid of Crowbat, great, which means I, I don't necessarily get a free Sleep Fodder because he not only has Gliscor, but Superior as well. Once again, Amoongus gets to come out, and at this point, um, especially with Muck, Stealth Rock being up and Muck being chipped away at, Manetric is just going to go in. As long as my Swampert's alive, it's going to do damage. As long as my Swampert's alive, it's going to do damage. And when next time Muck comes in, I get an SD with Gliscor, which is what, uh, Gobalion, Cobalion, which is what I want. We'll just Giga Drain here. Like I lose anything from it. He's not gonna do any damage to me. Stealth Rock U-turn Earthquake Roost. Could be even U-turn Earthquake Toxic with no Roost. I appreciate that damage. I ain't doing crap. I don't even need my Giga Drains in this game. I need Clear Smog to stop Superior, Clear Smog to stop Azu, and, and you know any damage on Muck is damage. You should roost here. So I just want to get back to a good amount of HP before I get in my Scizor. Oh, you just you turn. So again, any damage on Muck is like, or even Manetric. I don't know why he went Manetric right there because that boy gave me the damage for my own Manetric to guarantee knock him out with Flamethrower and his Gliscor is in range of HP Ice. So I'm not sure why he went Manetric right there, but it gives me, not only does Regenerator bring back my Abumungus to full, so I always be able to deal with Superior, but it also gives me Swampert, which gets to throw off yet another Scald. I actually go for Toxic though this turn. Unless he's HP uh, Grass. Nice Azu. I'm gonna Earthquake him just in case he's Z Belly Drum. Okay, he's smart to go for Knockoff, but again, because I do have Crocodile, I'm not worried. And plus, my next is Guarantee in range. So I'll go for uh, Toxic right here as he goes Superior. Hey, finally got a Toxic. The Superior is no longer coming in for free. And Azu is... Manetric is going in, guys. Manetric is about to go in. And I'm like I said, I'm not worried about his own Manetric because I do have Scarf Crooked out, which he put it in range of. Nice damage. Just clear Smoggy. Doesn't matter if you go Gliscor. He can't, be, he can't win. He should forfeit. Like, Z-Belly Drum is the only thing he can do, and that's why I went for Toxic right there because to two Toxic turns or three Toxic turns... Um, one, I'm pretty sure Kobali and full Liz a plus six Aqua Jet and Steelium Z will knock him out. Please just go Muck. Please go Muck and just knock me off. I'd appreciate that. I mean, I don't mind. Like, like I really do sweep him with Manetric. Gliscor's in range. Don't know why he went Ozzy right now in the clear smug, but... I'll live a Bandit Ice Punch too, if he wants to go for that. Or he can crit me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, the great thing is, it's okay. Because like while that Pokemon was really nice as a pivot, um, he'll never be able to Belly Drum up with Azu, so Azu's gone. And Superior doesn't knock me out either. And it might just be a knockoff sweep through him. Yep. Now we put this thing in range of HP Ice. Even if he goes Muck, I get in my uh, Cobalion. So Manetric, as long as... Manetric doesn't even need to be at full HP. And like I said, I'm not worried about his. Um, just because of the... Because I literally get to go out to Cobalion now. Even if he um, stops me. Plus my... Even even with my own Swamper being knocked off, now it's in Torrent, so its Skulls will actually be doing damage. He should pursue. I get a crit. Good. I can just Swords Dance up too. As he goes for Fire Punch. I'm a Rock Polish up, though it's a little bit... I just don't want him going Manetric and Revenge killing me. Don't you dare burn me. Thank you. 
And at this point, it doesn't matter what he does. Even if he goes like, even if he goes glide score and doubles out to anything, he actually went hard glide score, which was not the play because, um, yeah, I don't even have to go for my Z move. <laughs> Look how much that glide score took. That was max speed of glide score. Well, wow. so I don't even have to go for a Z move. I don't have to go for anything. I just iron head, close combat iron head, and dual dance Kobale on one. Like I knew the second Muck came in, Kobale would break through him. Like I, I preached that the entire time. But also, look how much work my own Manetric does versus him too. Good game. I went there. Thank everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed, of course. Got some wins, got some losses, got some hacks. <laughs> uh, but if you guys did enjoy, of course, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll check you guys out later. Hopefully you'll check me out later. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, friends.